the first little step obstacle in front of us, it's just a little, little step to climb up. He's following the track. So our GX470, it's an 05 GX470. It's built for overlanding. It's not built for rock crawling. Uh, we don't have lockers in this thing. Um, running 34-inch 34, 34 tires on it. And it's built for overlanding. It's meant for long distance hauling across vast areas, not really crossing Moab epic slick rock. But in this point, we got it to a point where we kind of bit off a little more than we could chew. Having a holiday. Yeah. Dan's working a little harder. <laughs> I'm just glad you got. I'm glad you brought Dan with you. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> you got your highway guy He's building a road. Yep. Really. Uh, we're playing uh, climb the ledge with the GX470, and uh, we may have bit off a little more than the 34s can chew. Also, we would have normally just pulled cable and uh, winch the truck up over the ledge. But uh, we're just trying to keep everything as clean as we could. It was time to go ahead and let the Bronco take a shot at it. You said go on, Dan. Yeah, you did. Go on. Go, 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 go. Come on, dig that hole. Dig that hole, you're plowing. You're right. You are definitely a farmer. You just plowed that rock. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should have checked it a bit earlier first, I guess, the, tra the trail. Seen how difficult it was, but it's... Uh, it's pretty impressive to even climb this for the front end, but you know, we kind of need a few more rocks thrown in these big holes and maybe a, some extra lockers in the axles, but it'd uh, be good to see what the Bronco does. Yeah, about there. A little tiny bit left to start with. Yeah, there. Now a bit right. No, left a bit, left a bit. Ooh, go straight now. Go give it some. <laughs> so 37 stars, I guess. Yeah. 37. Lockers, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Bronco kind of yeah. did it one and done. Okay, yeah, that looks more scary, uh, more scary for real than it is on the on the videos on YouTube. That's for sure. It's actually the one. Yeah, it's the one. It's the one. Yeah, go on. Just... So the uh, where those oh. where those jeeps are, if you go out past around it. Yep. Uh, from the, the Hell's Revenge Trail, you can go off the trail on a designated area. Yep. And it brings you around to the back side of of Lion's Back. Yeah. And there's a absolutely terrifying stupid stupid off camber 
that you put your truck and you can go around a fan and end up on the other side of lines back. Oh, right. yeah. I have never done it. <laughs> I've only seen pictures of people doing it. Yeah. I've been up there and looked at it. Yeah. I'm like, why would anybody even try this? Yeah. Because if you screw up at all or have a mechanical failure, yeah. Yeah. anything, you're going over the edge. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're all set. All right. Thank you very much. Sand Flats Recreational Area. Good trials. You wouldn't want to be doing this in the rain though. That'd be pretty, pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's bits like this where you can't see where you're going. <laughs> it's always been fun since I've been a kid on the farm taking a car somewhere you, you most people think you can't take a car you know or, or a motorbike or whatever just we, we had old chalk pits on the farm like little mini chalk quarries and you kind of just try to climb steep things and do kind of stupid things with cars that you shouldn't really do it's just yeah always just got a kick out of it I guess so yeah So day two in Moab, we're just over a thousand miles from Newburgh, Oregon, from home base. But we're going to make a point to get out of town just outside of Moab to run the Hell's Revenge Trail. That was just too easy. <laughs> it was miles away from there. I thought it was going to get close. It didn't get close at all. When he went a bit quicker just now, that suspension seems to work really well on the Bronco as well. Because going over oh, rough, yeah. rough stuff, it'd be nice. You can really hammer across this stuff. So our 2022 Bronco is equipped with a two inch rad flow remote reservoir suspension system, coilovers all the way around. We have 37, 1250, 17 tires. These are Falcon Wild Peaks. And then all the armor on the truck is the prototype parts for Metal Tech for our sliders that are 100% bolted to the frame, no attachment to the chassis or to the body. And then we have our front winch mount, which the winch mount system bolts to the front of the truck, features soft shocker recovery points, hard shocker recovery points, 20 inch light bar, and, and then the crown jewels, the rear bumper in the back. It's a full swing out system mounted to the frame. It's carrying our 37 inch tire completely off the back door. And of course, it also has soft shackle and hard shackle recovery points. It's, um, it'd be cool to trick the Lexus up and bring it up through here, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. It, it go, it'll go right up this. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the, um, so a customer, two, a uh, group of Lexuses came along. Yeah. They stopped at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. And one guy, he parked at the very, very bottom, which you never do. Because no, yeah. if the car comes down, you're going to hit. 
leaves his engine running, fortunately, gets out, his girlfriend's in the car, gets out, gets into the other Lexus, they start going up it, and somehow he had a double failure, like the, the, trans the engine quit, yeah. and I think they bumped the transmission, the transfer case into neutral or something, I don't know what, he had no brakes. <laughs> And so he, but he did a really good job guiding it down backwards. And then our Pegasus rear bumper smashed into our Goblin front bumper. And of course the Goblin absorbed the impact and deformed like it's supposed to. The winch mount held straight, but allowed all the airbags and safety systems to work. And so the girl in the car, she, she, her own words were, I just ate the airbag. But she had the, no impact. I mean, she was, she got out of it, walked away. Yeah. From there on out, he's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm only gonna run a Meltec bumper because it actually, it worked. <laughs> you know. Every time I look at a laser tail and all that, I'm like, why? Whoa! 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 Stop! Stop! I'm back up about three, four feet, just slowly. guy back there, I'm like, has he ever done this before? I said, no, it's his first time. So that line, as you get near the top, you have to hug the right wall. And but from the truck, it looks like you go to the left. It just looks like that's the national line. So most people want to manually go to, or automatically go to the left. But if you do, and you start to climb it, you'll flip over backwards. <laughs> so you got to hang to the right. It feels unnatural to hang to the right, but that's what you do. Get the, yeah, get the car to stay flat. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Do you want to get a little footage here? Yeah, that looks good. Hang on, let me get back Looking at the horizon here, kind of thing, you're going to, okay. It's not actually that steep, it's kind of, probably would climb 45 degrees. Uh, this is, I don't know what that was, maybe 35 or something. So it's, yeah, still got a way to go, but it does, it's pretty unnerving, yeah. Trick is always to keep it pointing straight up or straight down a slope, never to turn across it, you know, flip the car. <laughs> so if you're pointing straight up, straight down, you should be okay, in theory. Did it touch the sand at all? I don't know, Clay, you've seen it. Yeah, we'll it see what, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, was think, I was thinking, shit, we're going to get like nosed in. And... But when you rounded that out, I thought for sure the back yeah. tire would hit. Yeah, no, very impressive. Yeah, yeah. 37 clear. Yeah. Very That's good. great.